Laser Disc Literature, the great segment that y'all know and love. You love it! Today we'll be reading the Laser Disc Literature off the back of the first Laser Disc I ever purchased off of eBay. <laughs> and it's the Matthew Modine 80's Wrestling Flick Vision Quest. Still have it open, it dog. So actually, actually, the gut will be reading it, and Phil D's will be listening exactly. to it for the first time and commenting, as it were. Laser disc. They had all the artwork. They could put big pictures here. You got a picture of Madonna, who made her feature film <clears> debut <throat> in the film. You got shoot. You got Matthew Modine wrestling, and we got a great description, <clears throat> an awesome, epic description, as as per usual. And and by the way, let me just start off the bat by saying Vision Quest sounds like it should be a science fiction fucking title. Or a video game title. It doesn't seem fitting for a fucking sports 80s movie. era sports movie. Like, you know, vi doesn't it sound Vision Quest like your like what what comic book you're reading now? Maybe Vision yeah. Quest. What's your favorite sci-fi novel? Vision Quest. But, but by the way, dog proof that the 80s were better. High school movie about a high school wrestler. Clearly, what's the rating of this movie going to be? Oh, of this movie? Clearly, yeah. PG, the '80s. R, motherfucker. That's why. That's why. And by the way, I purposefully didn't say PG yeah. 13 because I assumed this it, was before the I rating. I think it was. Existed. I think it maybe was. Okay. Wow. Well, that's that's actually a pretty wide right. gap. They made a movie for 17 year olds and had no problem saying that you had to be 18 to see it. Fucking and awesome. And it still was a big hit. Hardcore. Yeah. All right. I like the pictures on the back. I know it's great artwork. I, and like, look at this old shit. How they just would make a generic pattern and then put like the artwork over top of it. I miss I like Matthew. It. Very. Modine. He was a great man. Very. Now Matthew 80s. Modine can only fucking die in Batman, Chris Nolan movies. Now he can't. Exactly. Like, he can never Love be a leading too. man again. Love this too. All right. So I'll get the back to reading the back. All right. He's just turned oh. eighteen. Oh. And it's time to turn a dream into reality. <laughs> Folks in Spokane don't understand high school wrestler Loudon Swain. Spokane, Washington. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which is really a small, if you think about it, LA, New York, Spokane yeah, is fucking small. That's a big shit. selling point that and, this movie takes place in Spokane. Might as Everybody's well be the going to buy the movie. Might as well be in fucking Nebraska. Someday, he says, he'll be a doctor in outer space. But right now, he's obsessively <laughs> running. I knew it was science fiction. <laughs> fucking interstellar prequel. But right now, he's obsessively running, lifting, skipping rope, and skipping meals. Also, he can lose 23 pounds. Oh, that's witty. Skipping rope and skipping mm, meals. Exactly. I lo See, we got to point out how clever this shit is. This was a good laser disc literature writer. Whoever right. wrote the back. Cause, cause that's so the far. That's the thing about laser disc descriptions of movies. It's like a lost art form. You don't know who wrote this shit. They don't get the credit for right. Right. There, it, it could be the next Ernest Hemingway wrote the book. Yeah, exactly, you don't know. exactly. And, and you know, sometimes they get too punny, sometimes they get fucking too alliterative. F skipping rope and skipping. skipping I like that. That's I like brilliant, it. dude. This, this is clearly fucking the next fucking Stephen King. Exactly. Also, he can lose 23 pounds in a dangerously short time and take on Shoot, the undefeated 168 pound champion who carries a seven foot telephone pole across his shoulders while training. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. There's a picture of him doing it right here. All right. Yeah. I thought that was a tree. <laughs> Laser Disc was the real deal, motherfuckers. All right. It's the same movie on VHS and it's DVD. It's not going to be It's better on Laser Disc. <laughs> Shoots the best wrestler in the state, if not the universe. <laughs> he could beat the motherfuckers in Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> he could beat fucking Thanos if he, he could, wanted to. He could, I mean. you. And you get the feeling if he's... not the universe. How <laughs> epic is that? Yeah, exactly. And you get the feeling he's going to propel loud. just the galaxy. We're talking about all space oh, so and time. The we're final frontier. About, we're talking about fucking... Job of the Hut, that, you know, so anyone, anyone that's not on planet Earth, Shoot. not in this galaxy, fucking any, anyone. Shoot. Shoot. And you get the Shoot. feeling he's going to propel Loudon into orbit ahead of schedule. Holy shit. What, what are all these sci-fi references? Kind of orbit? Same. High school wrestling, it's all about sci-fi. It's all about fucking Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> Matthew Modine, who's working birding in Mississippi, has already established him as one of Hollywood's brightest new stars, is loud. Wow, wow. A mop headed, headstrong, 191 pound wrestler is good enough to contend for college athletic scholarships. This is Rocky Ford. Wow, Rocky. everybody's got to see this one. <laughs> this He's a mop headed Ford. wrestler. Mop -headed. Everybody's got to see it. These are some selling points right <laughs> what, here. What a great description. How, exactly. how flattering is that? <laughs> very flattered. Very I flattered. flattered. Uh, that's a movie star in the making right there. Mop headed. Good literature. And by the way, dude, I fucking knew high school wrestlers yeah it's the real deal dude they, they would fucking starve themselves they're weirdos they, they'd yeah. run around in fucking like hot suits so they could sweat their fucking before weight. the match they would spit on the water weight they, they would yeah, jerk dude, off they, they to get piss, to that, that, that weight shit, class was so important it, yeah. to get to they would oh, fucking destroy their really bodies fun. dog it's rough but he's not satisfied with good Loudon wants to be dash and be dash the best Ooh. they're even typing it dramatically Wait, you know was, what I mean? was, was, was it 
dash the word or just a dash? I don't dash? know. It's just a dash. This is a dash, though, right? And B. This is a dash. It, it's not really correct, actually. It should probably be maybe uh, parentheses or maybe. So laser disc oh, has. Yeah. Oh, that's know. okay. <clears throat> that's okay. I don't know who is proofreading this shit, but the writing is okay. It's okay so far. And they're really going to sell you on the next sentence here. And that sets him on a path that Cooch. Loudon's Mohawk best friend, Michael Shefflin and 16 Candles, calls a vision quest. I, I love how they have to describe everybody's fucking haircut. Mop yeah. head, and mop Mohawk, head, mop comb head. over, you bald. Know, you know it's a good movie when you have Buzz a, cut. A, a clear variety of haircuts going on. And you have to describe it because if I'm, yeah. if I, if I'm, if I'm fucking a 41-year-old father at a fucking Target on my way home from work yeah. and I'm picking up a laser disc circa 1993, yeah. I want to read this shit and I want to know what the fucking hairstyles are like exactly. before I make up my mind. <laughs> Nothing distracts likable Loudon from his oh, glorious <laughs> from his glorious quest. Not the gnawing emptiness in his stomach. Not the fainting. Not the frequent nosebleeds. So fucking descriptive, dog. This is fucking Jane Austen shit. <laughs> Not even the mousy editor of the school newspaper who has the hots for him. Mousy. Boom. <laughs> it's officially a rom com. <laughs> Mousy librarian type girl who's probably a fucking awesome bang. Mousy, bang. mousy bitches can't derail this vision quest. But when sexy... What was her haircut like? I don't remember what her haircut was like. But when sexy 21-year-old drifter Carla, played by Linda Fiorentino in her superb screen debut... Oh, she's so hot. She man. was. And by the way, fucking... 21 year olds, you know, diddling fucking high school students. 18 year olds. I mean, I mean, by count, only That's one insane. just turned 18. For That's the rest, insane, yeah. the rest might be 17, 16. We don't fucking know. She's 21, she don't give a fuck. She wants that young dick, dog. Exactly. Get it, Linda. But when the sexy, superior 20 year old drifter Carla comes to his life, Lauren is pinned to the mat mm. by unrequited love. Wow. Wow, the Lo line of the literature right there. Yeah, the the love. love is the one wrestling match he can't win. And now it just became Shakespearean, dog. It, it, it really is. It's, it's a beautiful writing. <laughs> In time and with a little help from friends, like a patient teacher played by Harold Sylvester, and a sagacious. I don't even know what sagacious is, dog. You seeing that right? Sagacious. Where are we? Sagacious. I don't know what that word means. I don't know. I'm Phil Deez Stump. And I'm a fucking wordsmith. And that's why this is true, laser display. It's literature. <laughs> and it's a geisha short order cook played by J.C. Quinn. Loudon gets his weight down, gets the girl, and gets a shot at shoot. An exhilarating match where the battle cry is, take no prisoners. So trifecta of getting. He's getting everything. <laughs> exactly. Director Harold Backer of Taps the Onion Field makes sure there's plenty of action pack rolling on the mats and a red hot soundtrack keeps things rocking. Red hot soundtrack keeps things rocking. Exactly. Alliteration, a little bit of fucking funny wordplay there. Nice. You'll, you'll hear the high voltage sounds of Tangerine Dream, Journey, Ooh. Foreigner, Dio, Red Rider, Don Henley, and many more. Bands and musicians that people sometimes still care about today. Exactly. And you'll see an electrifying on screen performance by Lady Rocker. Madonna. Lady and rocker. Two words that do not describe Madonna at all. Like Rocky and the Karate Kid. <laughs> Told you, Rocky Four. Exactly. <laughs> this is an upbeat spirit lifter that lets you share the good feelings. Get in on the good times. Now, and make your next video quest a vision quest. He's saying do it now. Ah, well, do what it a commercial now. that is. <laughs> if that don't make you want to see a movie, I don't know what it is. I'm down. The haircuts alone got me. Exactly. Maybe, maybe if they got the laser disc riders. To be the marketing people today, many people would actually go see the oh, movies man. that come out now. All, all the indie shit that people don't want to see if they can get these fuckers to oh, yeah. fucking. How epic you know, was this haircut original adventure? I, I mean, love it, man. You know, I fucking rate this one very, very high. <laughs> one of the best laser disc literatures we ever done. I would love to meet this guy. I would love to yeah. autograph this fucking yeah. laser disc. Not the man. star of the movie, not the director. Who wrote the, the back? Literature, write yeah. over all the words that you wrote. Write, sign your name. And, on and what are you doing now? Are you writing for the New right. York Times? Are you exactly. fucking a, a pro as a poet? A exactly. poet laureate? You're Sign your name on the dotted line. line. I want Ooh. to make you my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Laser days, better chance!